<laughs> hey, welcome everyone. Welcome, welcome to the islands. We're in the uh, yeah, <laughs> we're we're in the uh, Caribbean's uh, today. Uh, we'll be going through the Caribbean islands, a uh, U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and then uh, finish off in Dominican Republic. Uh, lots of fun island hopping, lots of landings. We got nine airports we're visiting. Uh, we're starting off here in Anguilla. I've been calling it Antigua the last couple of days, but no, it's two separate countries. Uh, we're at Clay and Lloyd International Airport. And this is done by uh, uh, SLH Sim Designs, which I'll... Uh, there's a link in the uh, description anyways, but they have several um, Caribbean Island airports and uh, they just came out with Bermuda Airport uh, this week. We're not flying there today just because it's the distance wise, but we'll do it in a, in a separate flight. Uh, but uh, we're going to start off here in Valley in, in Anguilla. We'll then go to Princess Juliana, St. Barth. Uh, Wancho, which is a very short uh, landing strip. Then we're off to St. Thomas to uh, Cyril King. Then to Benjamin Rivera, which is a similar approach to uh, St. Barth. And that is also by uh, SLH Sim Designs. Then we're going to be off to Puerto Rico to San Juan. Then to Dominican Republic to Las Americas, Santo Domingo. We'll do a, a pass over of La Vega. Um, might, uh, if I find what I'm looking for in La Vega, we might land there. There's no airport right there in the uh, in the city. And then we'll go up to Puerto Plata and we'll finish off there for, for the stream. So uh, we, we got uh, plenty of flying today. So let's uh, start off, take a look at uh, the airport here. And then uh, we'll get into the new Paranaro PC-12, which uh, just released yesterday. And uh, we'll get on our way to Princess Juliana. So here we go. The, uh, uh, yeah, there's Lars, the uh, TBM. Uh, Gotta slow down here. Oh, that's not. Slow down. So, actually, the uh, developer for SLH uh, Sim Designs, he's actually a, a controller here. Uh, at the airport, so he knows what the uh, what the insides here look like. Connection loss, and I am on the uh, SU ten beta. And it keep, keeps giving me that those connectivity issues. Uh, Trans Anguilla arrivals or airways, yeah. You can actually, he's even got like the crevice for like where the baggage actually comes out. It's a nice, nice small airport. And then I asked him, I said, hey, d did you put yourself in at the tower? He says, no, no, that's just a default uh, guy. But uh, so there, I'm sure a spice jet is here, but uh, spice jets, uh, Indian uh, airline. So the uh, weather today is uh, pretty cloudy. 
what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna take off those clouds and it's actually windy too we'll take off the clouds and we'll have some fun in the we'll have some fun in the sun so maybe uh, maybe I'll put some like yeah Ar Arctic chill there we go Anguilla first time it ever sees snow uh, we're gonna go with uh, high level no it's not and we'll just go with the uh, There, few clouds, few clouds. That's that's good enough. All right, let's uh, let's go over check out the plane. So we're in the uh, PC twelve, the uh, Pilatus twelve. Uh, let's get the drone back on. It reminds me a lot of the TBM. Got uh, cargo door and then the uh, passenger door. I, I'll open up. In here in the cockpit, what we can do is get your EFB, your tablet, and then there's several options here. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to have it uh, ready for let's have it ready for takeoff. And we'll still that away. We'll look at the at the aircraft in a separate video. I'll do a full review on that. Bring me back some uh, lobster. Yeah. Anguilla. We're in Anguilla today. I get some lobster right down the street. Uh, I guess you could probably too. <laughs> or you are. Light. So our uh, first stop today is going to be uh, Princess Juliana. Let's get the... Uh, I'm not going to put the uh, uh, overlay at the top. I'm just going to flutter it a little too much here today. What we'll do is we'll put the VFR map. then uh, that will also help me to know where the airport is so going to Princess Juliana then to uh, St. Bart I can't can't uh, zoom out further than that so uh, let's zoom back in I so I want here. Move the armrest. And so we got the flaps already at 15, which is good. We've got the um, the uh, condition. Condition right now at ground idle. Once we go to take off, we'll put it in uh, flight idle. Then we can uh, throttle up. Let's, uh, let's go here. Let's take that parking brake off. There's Lars. Thing because now the winds have changed because we're not on live weather anymore. Actually, wind should be dead because you can see the wind socket. 
wind sockets pretty much uh, flat down. I watched a review on this uh, earlier today and saying that the engine noises uh, aren't loud enough. I'm thinking, what? They're definitely loud enough. I'm having issues with the uh, rudder pedals. Because uh, you should be able to... Uh... Hey, Air Stud. Yeah, with, with the rudder pedals, you should be able to uh, adjust for, for takeoff. But it's like... Completely going one side with the rudder pedal, and it still wants to pull the other way. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put the uh, uh, condition to uh, flight idle, and now we can uh, spool up the engines. We're gonna put a little down down pressure on the on the yoke to get our speed up. actually take the uh, the flaps off at this point and what I did was I ended up picking up uh, seafront simulations their boat uh, packs for both the uh, Anguilla St. Bart and also for uh, U.S. Virgin Islands, just because it adds to, uh, just adds to the atmosphere. Uh, let's, let's take a look here to the left. Yeah, so now you see like boats floating around. And you got the cruise ship. Can I trim up here? Kind of. Uh, Back on the uh, on the throttle a little bit. Now we can make a turn. The, the first few uh, hops here are going to be very close to each other. I wasn't going to do uh, Grand Grand Case because then Grand Case, you're landing, then you take off, and then you're landing right at Princess uh, Juliana. But it would be nice if uh, Microsoft could do like a world update in the Caribbean to really like make this water like water looks good, but it could be even better. So that's all like uh, seafront simulations, uh, the boats with the weight in the back. We're not going to go up too high. We're already at uh, 190, 190 knots. We're going to slow down uh, soon, but we'll be going right over there. This is uh, that famous, uh, famous runway where you got like the jet blast right onto the beach and like people aren't supposed to like be on the beach at that point. But people still do, and then they get blasted right into the right into the ocean. Let's go just quickly on the outside. We'll see what the uh, what the sounds sound like on this PC12.
Oh yeah, there's Lars right behind me. Let's go back inside the cockpit. Uh, so this is a uh, one zero. It's a runway. Just kind of give myself a little bit of uh, room to, to descend, slow down. And then this, uh, this you want to land at. Uh, I think it was flaps. Full flaps. Yeah, and I see uh, that's a twin otter, the uh, a real, real world traffic twin otter. That's actually flying over. It must be going over to uh, Anguilla because it's it's not going to the airport here. down and then uh, turn in here. This uh, uh, Calypso music uh, makes me want to play like a uh, Tropico Six, where you're like uh, you're a dictator building a, a tropical island. Turn some more. down to idle. Now it's just trying to see the visual. Well, little nav maps keep zooming in, so. Uh, actually, one zero, so I, I, gotta, I gotta come back. Yeah, there's uh, no speed brakes on this. Let's see, we're at uh, 182 knots. Say flaps one, but no, it's not flaps one. Okay. 
That flaps 30. Oh, it's getting choppy here. And this is not a, this is just default airport. So it's definitely the sim. It's almost like a, like a gonna have a CTD, better not. Uh, let's go flaps 45. Now, 90, 80, 90 knots. This is actually the first time I ever fly here. A stall warning. It's a uh, reverser. Bring it to uh, ground idle. I got a taxi from the from the other side and we'll take off from there. Because it's it's from this side that the um, that's the iconic uh, takeoff place with the uh, a jet blast. Because really, other than that, there's nothing to see here. It's just default. break on I just want to go out I want to take a look at that beach area yeah so like they don't really do this justice at all in the uh, default Cause that's that's the bridge and then right here should be the the beach where where they uh all the jet blast stuff unless it is on the other side but uh it doesn't seem like it. And, oh yeah look at that the grass shows up eventually Grass, even in the uh, in the water. Uh, yeah, it's probably on this side, uh, one zero, the jet class. But yeah, it doesn't do it any justice. Pretty much need a uh, a. Uh, there is a a pay where I came out two years ago. I didn't take because it was like it's like two years old. But they're actually making uh, St. Bart. They're, they're working on that. All right, let's get back in the plane. Greetings, Marsh. You're, you're uh, up in the air? They let you... Uh, they, they let you watch uh, YouTube? Up in the air? Okay, so we're going to put the... Um, 
We're gonna go to uh, Flight Idol. We're gonna go to uh, Flaps 15, and then we're gonna uh, take off. Then we're off to uh, St. Bart. Yeah, yeah, Lars, it looks way better than X Plane, yeah. All right, gear up. And we're at about 100, so we can flaps up. But uh, the seafront simulations actually makes it look a little bit better because of the boats in the water. But yeah, the default here, not so great. But like Lars said, better with, uh, better than uh, x -Plane. Apparently the 737 Max is outfitted with next gen ISAT uh, Wi-Fi, which enables streaming. Ben with his imperfect. <laughs> I bet. Well, now we're off to St. Bart's. There you go, that's uh this is Juliana uh, St. Martin, that's what it is. St. Martin. Good enough to watch this stream, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, now, now, oh yeah, I see there, there's now an extra viewer that the the drunk guy beside you is now uh, watching the stream also. T tell him there, there's like a, uh, the, the plane is actually a, a, a pretty girl and then you'll, you'll be like throwing uh, super chats. <laughs> Tell me, it's like sending super chats would would prep them for uh, Vegas, <laughs> and because he's drunk, he he won't even remember. What was he doing? Like ordering like uh, orange juice and vodka and said, "Keep coming." Yeah. Uh, oh, so this is uh, one zero also. Waffles, a screwdriver, and a PC-12. Perfect combo. <laughs> yeah. Oh, got a little... So this is not live weather. Uh, but I, I still put a few clouds. I think after St. Barth, I'm going to go back to live weather. So we actually might it might actually clear clear up at different islands. 
I'll say Barth. I don't have anything here. It's just other than uh, seafront simulations uh, for the boats. It's uh, just pretty much uh, default here at uh, St. Barth. We're getting close here. Reduce the speed. One. Pretty much got it down to idle. Uh, but we're still at about 200 knots. Yeah, yeah, it's more, yeah, more cloudy and live weather. I wonder once we leave here, what it's going to be in the rest, because we're, we're going over, a, like, a wide enough area. Lap 15. up to slow this thing down. We flew the uh, PC-12 uh, last night for an hour. Liked it? Nice, yeah. Yeah, I saw it! Oh, someone probably locked a missile on me. Landing gear. Like, what? What's going on here? Um, uh, it, just because we're going so slow. And we are high here. Uh, but yeah, I saw, uh, Ave Angel. I was saying that the, uh, the engine noises, cockpit noises weren't loud enough. And it did seem like the uh, gear up, like when it went in, it was much louder than the engines. But I think she might have her engine sounds uh, down too much. Like I got mine down to 90%. But if you put them uh, any lower than that, yeah, you're, you're gonna lose that sound. All right, let's go flash 45. I'm gonna make this. It's gonna be a miracle on uh, 34th Street here. Oh, look at this! Like terrain, terrain, terrain. to stall on me? Come on. Oh yeah, because I also have the land gear. Let's try it again. Yeah, no, that's... <laughs> well, get me, like, on the right side. And send me up into the sky here. Uh, where? Where is the airport? Okay, I see it. I gotta go back. Let's try that again. Let's give it another good old college try again. Thank you for the support. Really appreciate it. How are we doing? Uh, hey. 
Shakia with a slam dunk. I I almost thought of uh, I was gonna find I I actually found something, but it, I didn't want to also get like demonetized for it. So, but it's uh, Shaquille O'Neal at one of the um, All Star games, and he's got like a. Um, we call those, uh, he's got like the white mask and like a uh, mime and he comes out like a whole entrance and I was going to like put that there for, for when you showed up, but uh, like, it's like a minute, two minutes long. You're riding the bench in the uh, break room right now. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're, we're going to try this again. We're going to try uh, St. Bart one more time. me to do something. Actually, it is telling me something, finally. Oh, de-ice? Really? It's a, it's a tough approach, especially if you're coming in pretty quick. Because I, I did slow down, but I don't think I slowed down enough. Definitely not enough. Uh, rim wheel. Every time I hear an alarm go off, I relatively jump thinking that it's a real life alarm on this bag. <laughs> well, it's it's not like uh, last night I was uh, I was editing a clip and I had Streamlabs open and someone subs with the notification on. So this is what happened. And when that happened, I just jumped in my seat. Because it was like quiet and I was actually uh, like editing and watching uh, Shaq and then boom, that came and I was like, whoa. Okay, we can actually turn around here. Uh, Lars, did you make it or? Uh, you know, you're, you're in the uh, TBM, which is even faster, but. I think, I think you've got more experience than me, so you, you might have slowed down a lot earlier. Let's go flaps 15. Flaps 30. Trim the nose down. I'm just going to move that out of the way for now. No crash, ooh. <laughs> Alright. I know, I know, I know. I, I pressed the button right at the right time. It, it's because I, I want to test out all the different features, all the safety features in this, so I can then take footage of this for my review on the on the PC12. Oh. Actually no, I I actually I thought it was down, but I guess not. 
Uh, 45. Let's go 45. doesn't like that. This is a handcrafted uh, airport from the Sobo. Not bad. <laughs> We're all counting on you. In in thrust, we trust. <laughs> Amen. Let's see where, where Lars is at. Lars. Or did you have a crash of desktop? That's even worse. That's worse. Oh, I didn't know you can go inside the, the PC6 like that. It's crazy. Hard place to land on if you don't coming from CSA. Yeah, that's that's the thing. But that's that's the uh, I iconic uh, landing. All right, so we're gonna take off now. We're gonna go to uh, Guancho. Guancho is. Uh, We gotta close the flaps. Flaps. The flaps are closed. All right, they're finally, finally closed. Um, that's all. It I think it wants uh, some de-icing or something. So it might be in the overhead. No, not that. I think it's probably going to be like a Icing is. We're in the Caribbean. Come on. Um. Uh, we made it. Uh, her place. No, I have a real crash on. Oh, that's why. That's why. What would you rate this in relation to the TBM? Um. I would say, uh. 
I'd say like like, like on, on par with it. But I think you you might you, yeah you definitely have more features in this than the than the TBM. But are they features that you really need like door openings and stuff like that? No, but some of this other stuff uh, uh, works, or at least. Uh, but I'll, I'm going to do a, a full review on it sometime over the weekend. Then I'll be able to, to actually look at it a little bit more. I might actually even get into the TBM again and uh, just so I can compare the two. Uh, do you have it? I hear a lot of uh, mixed reviews. So, uh, mixed reviews on on the PC-12, yeah, I've actually seen mixed reviews also because some people are saying the sounds are terrible. I'm like, but, but the thing is, hear me out on this. People talk about the sounds in this. When it, like, when it was only out for like three, four hours, they were already bitching, mourning, and complaining about it. And it's like, what? Like, you don't, you don't have time to actually buy it. So, um, because, uh, Av Angel, she said the uh, cockpit noises are, are too low. Well, I, I can hear it. And then the, um, the wheels up, she said that was way too loud. And on her video, it did sound quite loud. But I think she doesn't have her engine sounds up as high as the rest of the aircraft sounds. So if that's the case, the issue's on her, not the actual plane. Because I, I, I can complain and say, hey, I went, I tried to uh, to taxi this to the runway, and all I wanted to do was go left. Well, it's because you got uh, takeoff assistance on or, or something else. Now I've, I've given it, you know, a little bit of time. And now I'm, I'm able to, to use the rudder and, and it's working fine for me. But it's like some people, they, you know, here now they, they put out uh, a post on Facebook. The first thing, first comment on there is about another plane that the person's having an issue with. And then the next one's like shitting on this plane. It's like, they just posted a thing. And it just released, like, you know, give it like 12 hours, 24 hours. But all right, let's go. Let's uh, take off. Oh. Yeah, people say wait for uh, another developer's version. I. Oh, yeah. You know who that developer is? Oh. Uh, I think is it Melvis that, that's making a PC-12? Uh, yeah, that is going to take me right down. <laughs> overall, average, um, overall average rating for what, what I read this morning. Uh, yeah, but uh, and I... But I also wouldn't say, like, yeah, six, six to seven, I I would say, yeah, about that. Because it's not like a nine, ten, like, it's not, it's not super uh, smooth, but it's, it's also not uh, super bad. Up. Uh, so we're now going to uh, 
Guancho. But uh, yeah, I do find people are very quick to judge no matter what. And it's like, even like first look, we're gonna call a first look also a review. Well, the thing is, is there's always gonna be some glitches on uh, on launch and then the update. So then you make a big production about it. Why not just do a first look, then do a review maybe a week later or something. It's like GSX came out, well, then it's like everyone just pounding on it. Uh, but then, and then, I, then you got these videos where it's like, oh, I, I deleted it. Oh, I reinstalled it. Oh, why did I delete it a second time? Like, all you want to do is just make videos. Like, like I understand it myself. I've I've actually taken it off now because it's just I'm having too many issues with either planes or it's still doing it even though I say not to do it at the airports that I that, like the payware airports that I have. Um, yeah, watch that video too. Uh, way to go since it went. Hey, yeah. It's, it's not a, yeah, not a stall. Yeah, watch the, the video too. Uh, would the left turn tendencies be from Prop Tour? Um, yeah, but I I also had that in the Twin Otter. I had that the other night in the, uh, in the Kit Fox. It could actually be a Sim Update 10 thing because I'm on the, on the beta. Why is uh, th this way? I think you're going back to. Uh, I think you're going back to Princess Juliana. <laughs> you must have liked it there. <laughs> uh, I think the Sim Work Studios. Oh, okay, Sim Work Studios is supposed to be making pretty much news recently. But it's the same quality as the Kodak, and yeah, it should be good. Kodiak's good. I think you're right. Uh, airplane insurance gonna make a killer out of you today. Yeah. Uh, I'm happy to see the Honda Jet get an update. It had some uh, bad bugs previously. I love that plane. Yeah. So was that only available on the uh, on the marketplace? Because now it's uh, in Contrail and Orbix. So I, I might uh, I might actually take a look at it. Now that it's in the uh, contrail. Uh, it's, it's actually looking forward to a good PC-12 as there are several carriers in Alaska bringing them to... to well, because I, I actually took a look yesterday at uh, FlightAware and where the PC-12s were flying. I think it was because it was last night. It was all North America. But if I went right now, I might be able to see some stuff in Europe and uh, other parts of the world. Yeah, it was only in Microplace, but you can get it elsewhere. Now, yeah, about 25 bucks. 25, 30 bucks. Up here in Canada, it's uh, it's about like uh, three three thousand icicles. But yeah, this is this is nice because now I don't actually have to look back, but I can see Lars is now following me. He was going to Princess Juliana, and that's what you'll see in uh, the sim update to ten.
I saw it. He wants me to do it. All right. Uh, let's. Where did we leave? Uh, TFFJ. TNC. This is where we're going. Like, it, it does have a good response to my controls. Imagine. We built a uh, King Arthur's Round Table Sir Conference. Oh, man. I had to. <laughs> Actually, I'm, I'm off the uh, the magenta line, but uh, it's actually good because then we can come in from uh, three zero. And actually, I don't even think this because this runway is a uh, thousand feet, like nine hundred and seventy seven feet. I don't think I can land with this. Alright. Gotta slow down. Cause I, I definitely have to uh, descend here. To like circle around. Oh, that was my hand going in front of the Toby. I think, yeah, I'm gonna have to circle around and then go in for the landing. Just because I'm way too high here. down. This looks like a, like a volcano. And the little nav maps I think is showing it as a volcano also. <laughs> what kind of noises of which is a vehicle make? Room, room. <laughs> Not a bunch. Just gonna bring the nose up a bit, just to slow down. Cause I'm, I got the throttle at idle. And I think what's gonna have to happen here is I'm gonna have to get pretty much to like stall just before the uh, runway. Turn around. Hey! Uh, how's it going, uh, SLH uh, Sim Designs? So we, we took off from uh, Anguilla at the beginning. I I thought it was Antigua, but I then saw, I read it, and I was like, I don't know, that's two different countries. Uh, but now we're, we went to um, Princess Juliana, St. Bart. Now we're at uh, Juancho. 
Then after this, then we'll go to uh, St. Thomas. Then to your other airport. Um, uh, Kuriba. Benjamin uh, Rivera. Then we're off to San Juan, Puerto Rico. Uh, Las Americas. Uh, Santo Domingo. Fly over to La Vega, Dominican Republic. And then finish in uh, Puerto Plata, Dominican Republic. Right, uh, I, I've had a few, uh, had a, a few uh, face plants at uh, St. Bart. Just turning around to, uh, just to get the altitude down. Get ready for uh, Juancho. Business. I got three kids. I I got three kids. I'm a professional dad joke dealer. <laughs> oh, nice, nice flight set. Yeah, yeah. Runway's at 125 feet. Pulls up a bit just to slow down a little bit more, then I can get the flats. Uh, how's it going? Uh, let's see. Oh, it's uh, right there. Right over there. Laps 15. I've been here a year, a year and a half ago to this uh, this airport. Very, very tiny airport. All right, so we're doing 100 knots. We can bring up the throttle. Yep, uh, P PC-12 is a it's actually not not that bad. Like I know it's getting uh, mixed reviews, but uh, the sounds are fine. Even like the gear up, gear down, that's that's fine. But I'll I'll have a uh, a full review. Over the weekend, I, I know there's like reviews out there, like right off the bat, like three hours in. Hey, yeah, I got three thousand hours in this, and I'm gonna do this review. Hey, no, I got less than three. I got less than three hours. It took like ten minutes to download, at least, probably. Yeah. Gonna get uh, get it soon uh, and do a live flight. Looks uh, amazing. Uh, DX at KF uh, Bermuda. You're talking about? I I, I don't know the the, the uh, all the codes in that area. Yeah, pretty long runway.
Yeah, that, this one's a uh, short runway. 977 feet. Yeah, Ber yeah, Bermuda. Because yeah, I, I knew it wasn't uh, one of the two here. But yeah, he's got some, some other good stuff. Uh, uh, is it Dominica or uh, no, uh, Gu Guadalupe? So, several uh, airports uh, in the Caribbean. send it to me. So trim the oh this is gonna make a, a tough approach here with the clouds. You got instruments, right? So, how many cats is this? A cat one, cat two, cat three? Or is it a no cat? No cat zone. All right. See, that's actually not that bad. But on Av Angel, that was like, it was like a big thud. And like closing it up. Here, I'll close it up again. It's actually not that bad. Right. I actually need it now. Where are we going? Extended. All right. This might uh, this might be a topple right over. I think I'm gonna have to come back here, uh, Marsh, for uh, for bingo. Lots of bingo squares around here. But going over the runway. Two cats, Siamese. <laughs> you had a PPL lesson uh, today in real life. It's uh, Palas uh, PC12. What, was it was it the Caronado PC12 that he saw in real life? No way can a PC12 land at Saba. <laughs> no, he, he, a, I know it can do short landings, but it's it's not a stall aircraft. Sure, yeah. Oh, but I forget what we are in. Oh, but I think we're in Grand Caravans. We came here. Both we'll flaps, uh, flaps 30. Oh, shoot. I was thinking. Yeah, okay. There you go. I was thinking it was up higher, but yeah, no, it's right here. Let's go class 45. Pretty much. Bottle. Idle. I'm actually going to get the reversers on here.
come on, come on. Oh. Whee! <laughs> well, gonna have to buy my fourth one of the day or something like that. Okay, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, let, let's pretend that was my takeoff. I don't think I don't think Lars is gonna be able to do it in his uh, in his TBM. Definitely not. So. The PC-12 cannot land at Saba. It can, but it can't. So now we're on our way to St. Thomas. Yeah, oh, you, you switch over to the uh, Beechcraft. I feel sorry for Allstate. <laughs> Watch your speed. Sure, you can land a PC-12 on Saba in one piece and taking off again is a separate cry. <laughs> yeah. uh, actually, fly this way. Yeah, Saba's a, a, a water uh, destination, de de definitely. But at the last minute, this came out yesterday, so I was like, all right, we're going to flip it on the PC-12. In March, you actually sent me videos of St. Bart and, and the PC-12. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make it at, uh, I think it's uh, Kureba, which is uh, Benjamin uh, Reed. Rivera, because that's like a St. Bart type of landing approach. Gotta go uh, work this flight. All right, sounds good, uh, Shaq. See you. See you in a bit. Uh, that was a go around Kafka. Yeah. Feel sorry for Allstate insurance company strikes again. Nationwide is not on your side. <laughs> So we'll, we'll go up above the clouds. So we could, we got uh, about got about a hundred nautical miles so we'll go above the clouds and uh, that'll give us a little bit more ground speed if Airstead was uh, Sizzling's co-pilot you can place your bets as you know it'd be a uh, land of law. time in a plane first time at the airport with the new plane but yeah go around yeah probably because if I would have touched down a little earlier it's because I was up too high I, I know that's what it was I, I could have landed that and then break hard enough that I I would get right to the end of the runway, but I wouldn't tip over. But it was the, uh, that was the uh, TSN uh, tipping point. Now, just saying, uh, now might be a good time to jump in the 
right seat. I don't know, we're, we're, we're good here, we're good. We'll land in, we'll land in uh, St. Thomas. All right, all right. All right, so we're in the right seat now. What I, what I would actually rather is be back here. Get a nice little tour of the, uh, oh, this is the cargo area. Oh, look at that. That's how the plane ends. Oh, uh, you can actually see the uh, the belly decal right here. Oh, uh, it's it's got a V also. Actually, this is more like a W. But actually, all that is cockpit view. The, um, because there's some aircraft you, you just can't move around in the cabin unless you go into drone mode. For this, no. How's it going? Enjoying the flight? Oh man, it's been a bumpy ride. I think I broke my neck on the last time. Hopefully that pilot doesn't do that again. Ah, uh, I don't know. I got life insurance. I just pulled out five million life insurance the other day. Cause I knew I was coming on this flight. Is this a skydiving uh, plane? Whoa! Okay, come back, stairs. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Oh, I. I <laughs> plane's like completely gone off. Alright, we can uh, trim this out. Say, uh, once Microsoft has a dual cockpit uh, sharing, you know, I'll be yanking that stick to correct the line of paths for landings. Yeah, dual cockpit is uh, going to be useful in a lot of scenarios. It'll make Sizzling's airliner flights more interesting as well. He keeps puking in my back seat as a uh, real due to high G maneuvers, but he needs a co pilot on days like these. That was the uh, DB Cooper exit that you just opened. Yep, exactly. Today. I don't care if it's 100 nautical miles. Ain't flying this thing. We'll figure out the autopilot later on. Geez, your odds are harsh on you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's good. Keeps me in line. Right on the. Uh, keeps me right on the. Uh, Magenta line. Let's 
see the external view. Oh, I want to showcase view. Is uh, flying the plane. There's nothing in the uh, cabin unless it's. Oh, there we go. We got a wing view. what you call a, a backseat flyer. Hey Ed, you flew the 737 yesterday. Wow, it was nice. Wow, great. Where do you fly to? Where, you have the 600 or the, the 700? Or the 800? I'm not sure which one you have. work yes woo look at that per 36 Canadian to the Q100 I don't know what just happened but Streamlabs is now saying that I've been live for nine seconds Turn this plane. And even from back here with little nav maps, I can I can see my ground speed, I can see my altitude, my heading. Uh, so trim, trim the nose down a bit. Out of 700 from Cleveland to Atlanta. But I didn't have time to land because <laughs> I had to. Land. All right, should have did like uh, Cleveland to like Toronto or like or like somewhere closer, closer but not too close. Like maybe Buffalo would have been good, or even Chicago. That way you you got enough time to to do your climb cruise a little bit. And then this end. Because the, the other night when I was, uh, yeah, Monday night, when I was uh, going from uh, New York City, from LaGuardia to uh, the court, the, uh, let me see. I forgot what I was going to say about that. Uh, yeah, I, I, I absolutely went, my way completely blank. Now I don't have, uh, Alzheimer's, uh, Irstead. Uh, Airstyle, I just saw your your screenshots in the Discord. With uh, that type of livery, that tiger livery on the, uh, it's gotta be on the uh, yeah F eighteen. You can do like a flyover in Cincinnati for the uh, Cincinnati Bengals, or or for like the uh, Detroit Tigers, works perfectly. Uh, still off.
Alright, it's getting rocky here as things going on. Yeah, we're it's because we're getting close to the max max speed. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I can see uh, Marsh. It's like uh, Streamlabs is kicking in and out. Looks like uh, like a fruit bowl, French toast, and maybe apple juice and ice. The guy next to you's already on the on the alcohol. A $200 uh, spending spree again on the market blades. <laughs> yeah, I bet. Oh, yeah, with a PC 12 coming out yesterday, you had to add to your uh, collection. Do you have the uh, Honda Jet already? Because that's in the marketplace. Change it over to live, live weather. I knew I was going to clear up. Just got to now retrim everything. Hear about the uh, did YouTube uh, shorts help you? Uh, no, uh, I've I've actually only started doing shorts. Uh, I did a, like a couple of them here and there, like sporadically. Now I'm like starting to do them more, but actually it is starting to help out a bit because what YouTube shorts does is it brings in people, uh, new subs, and then in hopes that they'll look at your longer form content. But some people are like, oh yeah, all you gotta do is just shorts, shorts, shorts. It's like, no, we're not L LFM, <laughs> LF, LFMAO. We're not doing like shots, shots, like maybe Marsh, maybe when he gets to Vegas, but on YouTube, it's not all about shorts. 
it's it's all about the mixture and but you also have to know your audience because the, th the thing is is so i was going to talk about the the pc12 and like right now how there's there's reviews and like oh well pc12 pilots are saying that it's not as great or it wasn't uh, what they were expecting the thing is is my audience my audience is not a PC-12 flyer. My audience is more so, uh, like, could be a pilot, but you're more so there to, uh, more into the, the simulation and try, trying to be realistic, but without it being, like, DCS world. Because DCS is, like, high fidelity. This is not a high fidelity aircraft. If it was, it'd be double the price. Uh, but it's because some, a lot of people they want high fidelity or cheap. You do get that in the sim with the 737-600, but it's the 600 is pretty much stripped down. And it's only got like. It's a it's a much smaller package than the 700 800 but it's all about knowing your audience and you want to bring in the shorts you want to have medium length content and then you want to have also your longer stuff for some people but for some people long stuff doesn't matter really oh well, yeah it's just about knowing your, your audience uh, I'm lost. Oh, yeah, Lars. Uh, we're going to. Uh, oh yeah, we're going to St. Thomas. St. Thomas. Uh, it's uh, Tango, India. Sierra Tango. I just uh, changed it on there. Uh, which runway? One zero. I'm going to go in one zero. promoting them but the thing is, is uh, your the, the shorts they just take off and then it, it's like YouTube like sends it out and then it all depends on the on the click-through rate if if they leave the, uh, the throttle open or if they shut that the throttle valve off and then they stop stop showing it we're, we're gonna uh, Make our descent. We're gonna go into one zero, so from the uh, west side of the island. Uh, when, yeah, military flight again is uh, yeah Monday night, uh, six o'clock central, seven uh, eastern. 11 uh, GMT or 8 o'clock my time. Shorts are tailor made for flight simming. Most contiguous segments of compelling flight content are less than six. Yeah. And even like some of my content, like a landing, a landing takes about like three, four minutes of like actual footage. But you just chop it up. I, I feel like I'm a, like a, the, um, at a 
that out of teppanyaki, you know, and chop it up. Chop up the chicken, chop up the beef. Uh, shorts is like entertainment or uh, or learning something but it's got to be super short okay yeah with the f15 that should be good let's uh speaking of shorts a short spotlighting air stud overhead flyovers from the last is uh, premiering on Monday before the flight. <laughs> That's sweet. Uh, is there snow in Texas? Or is that just clouds, uh, Marsh? St. Thomas, we'll go to the end of the island. Uh, yeah, it definitely increases CTDs. <laughs> Uh, CTR, uh, it could, because it, it all depends, because, like, I can have a short, it's got absolutely, like, like, 20 views for, like, a whole week, and then all of a sudden, boom, shoots up to, uh, like, a thousand, and then it, like, just cuts right out. But then sometimes, like, three months later, then booms again. Just don't know what's gonna happen. Actually, that's not the island. The island is right there. So, to turn up. Not the uh, vegetable turn up, but. Uh, uh, Christiansted Harbor. It's, uh, that's where you're at. I think, I think you, you might be following that uh, Vio, Vio Luis's 340. I don't, I don't follow them. You can uh, come up north. Because you're going to uh, Tango India Sierra X-Ray. But it's uh, Tango at the end. The other thing is I've been experimenting with the shorts and the uh, Instagram reels and that Instagram reels is like put a video up and then did a uh, takeoff at, from Buffalo and I had the pulsating landing lights on got you know two or three comments criticizing that. Well, one actually was asking about it. I looked it up. And I'm like, no, oh, I I'm completely fine using pulsating lightning lights. And it's it it was just by fluke that it happened. But uh, that video went on to have like five six thousand impressions before it killed off. But it was like fifty likes or something like that. About like a. About a one percent ratio. This makes it tough here. I'm sorry, feel there, but I do not feel there when I see a big block of white stuff. Is that like a new sandbar? 
Can I uh, go to the sandbar and get my tequila, coke, and wine? Or, uh, you know, like. Yeah, no, I, I've passed it. I've got to pass it in order to turn back in. Right up here, right up front. Actually, no, that, that island is the other one. But... Yeah, I'm going in one zero. See you later, Ed. See you uh, hopefully on Monday. Uh, but yeah, going uh, one zero. Albuquerque. Flying over Albuquerque Marsh. Are you gonna fly over Area uh, Area Fifty One? Such a perfect name for a scenery developer. Such lousy products. Yeah, their best product is St. Thomas, and St. Thomas is. Is all right for like two years ago. Not really all right anymore. But uh, SLH uh, Sim Designs, he had to bring out the uh, Bermuda Airport a little early because Field Air brought theirs out. But you look at the windows at uh, for feel there, and it's just a painted glass inside. Uh, St. Thomas. But yeah, it takes Airstead because I I actually saw this. I saw this island and then I was like, yeah, I'm like turning up towards St. Thomas, but it was like, no, I, I gotta go back. Or even though I'm coming in from the west side, going to 1-0. Uh, uh, On the outside, it reminds me a lot of the, the TBM. But because it looks like the TBM, I can't like fault Carinado for bringing out a PC-12 that looks like a TBM. Just those two aircrafts just look alike in real life. But the inside's completely different. Throttle back up a bit. Runway's not really in sight yet. I think I think this is Lars right here. Lars, if if you go up north, you'll get to uh, Tango India Sierra Tango.
Laps 15. Runway in sight. Gear down. Actually, in the uh, glide slope uh, area, so we're actually not far off. And we are in live weather, so and you can see in the background uh, the clouds. So there's definitely the the clouds in the. Uh, Thing of Antigua. I start screwing up my screen now where it's a little more should I start screwing up my screen now or in a little more bit a little bit it sounds like more morbid I know you're there is no pappy. It's a feel there. I can't see the pappy being happy. I can't even see the pappy. Period. The uh, the Silva approach. Race come in? No. Nope. Uh, we'll be good. Let's just this will be like smoother. Any kind of landing you've done in real life or not. 
We're only at 500 feet. There's no uh, announcers in this, like my 737. Maybe it's a bell, I don't know. Just got uh, two pappies here. Oh, there is. for my landing lights. All good here. We landed. Oh, here's a slope. Thanks for the, uh, for the super chat. Super popcorn sticker. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'll go towards the uh, Phoenix fun. Uh, just say uh, the stall horn means a way to, uh, way to go, right? Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Let's put the parking brake on for now. But this has been out for this. This came out in last October. It's when I. Uh, it's when I showed up here. Actually, th this will give uh, Lars a little bit of time to show up. Uh, what's going on with the cameras? You see, feel there. There's like this creepy, creepy guy. I think it's not too bad. Like, there's no interior, that's fine. But it, it is painted glass, so at nighttime, night lighting's not, uh, not too hot here. But I do have to give them a parking lot. Looks a lot better than some other uh, airports. Where's that guy going? He's going right into the mound. You went to Sizzling Popcorn uh, Flight School. See, it's not that bad. But. It's like pretty much your best one. Phoenix slush run, yeah. Mars. It's all Lars. Did he, uh, crash? He said he, he's got the crashes on. Uh, let's just uh, take a quick look at what this Blackbeard's castle. 
might look like the the castle I saw in the marketplace. Oh, that or the uh, university hospital. They called a grammatry, and then they they charge like ten bucks for photogrammetry, like one piece of photogrammetry. Let's see what this looks like. No, I landed, but uh, lagging. Okay. Now being down here, it's like I want to go on a cruise. I haven't been on a cruise in ages. Blackbeard's uh, castle. Oh yeah, because this is uh, U.S. Uh, Virgin Islands. Blackbeard's booty. Oh, all right, kids. Don't look. Oh, there you are. I see you now. All right, I'll uh, I'll push back and uh, we can take off. Go to. We're off to. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll up, update that now. So this next one's going to be a landing. The approach is similar to like a St. Mark. Imagine if you had like collisions on like that guy his blood would have been all over the place and uh, <laughs> White Simulator would then have a, ma a mature uh, <laughs> rating <laughs> Wow It's an awkward uh, It's an awkward slope there Yeah, <laughs> paying for the whole length of the runway. That's a lot of axing on the runway. Skipping a jump here. St. Thomas? I think it's 
warning me about uh, any ice. No, no big deal there. Come on. What else do you want? AOA de-ice. to go up too high because we're gonna have to go over the mountains this is like a similar approach over the mountain and then diving down in the flaps off I'll definitely help I gotta tell you, the uh, the alarms are working. That's definitely new for sure. Like, gonna have to put that in my review. Alarms work. Check. Have they been tested? Yes, they have. If you ever want to develop a, an aircraft and you want to know if you know, all the uh, All the faults, all the alarms are working. Just send it to me, uh, and I'll uh, do the testing for you. I'll, I'll do the audit. I'll, although I don't like audits, that uh, that type of audit. Sure, I'll do it. We're speeding up. Slow down. Uh, three one here. All right, let's try to get a let's get a better better landing here. At least better than St. Bart. This is comparable. <laughs> I mean, not a big, uh, the, uh, the, uh, 339. Uh, 
times 30. Like, uh, I gotta show you where this red way is. All right, that's good. Oh, it's the other way around where it's the, the over the hill. It's coming in this way, it's, it's a lot easier. way too low. Terminals over here. Actually, on both sides. Our burnout. Our. Just uh, stopped it, uh, you know, just to be energy efficient. Actually, uh, we get started here. Just gonna put the brake on. It's a small airport here. Well, we'll take a look at it. This is from. Um, it's from a. Uh, SLH uh, Sim Designs. So this is actually uh, it's available on uh, FlightSim.to as uh, payware. As I said, with uh, when a Sobo comes in, does an update. And they change like heights and stuff. Then it has to come in to, to fix it, like a slight adjustment. So I can see the uh, bodies in the in the ground. So that's a little too slow. Get up that drone. Uh, there's uh, Carlos's uh, Jeep rental. Air Flamenco. I think this is like the bathroom or something. Sometimes it's too fast, sometimes it's too slow. Alright. So yeah, you got... 
Done some fencing around. If you buy this, uh, if you buy this airport from a, through their website or flightsim.to, you actually get air stud right on the on the runway, free of charge. Uh, yeah, so j just uh, parking more GA parking. All right, guys. The uh, St. Barth type of approach is from coming in at runway 13. I think that's probably the, the usual way of coming in. But we're going to uh, take off here for just a moment. Let's get back into the cockpit uh, view. Alright, back in the cockpit. Uh, let's Laps at uh, 15, park and break off. I think this is uh, one of the, the cheapest of the airports. Like, obviously, it's it's based off of the, the size and the, the amount of work that has to go into it. And I think the most expensive one is the uh, Bermuda. It's a bigger airport. And the rudder. But the rudder issue is not a, a PC12 issue. I have the same thing with the uh, Twin Otter in uh, Green Fox. Alright, let's uh, take off. Are you gonna go in afterburners? to uh, San Juan, the Latin VFR San Juan. I think I came out like about a year and a half ago because I saw it last night. I'm like, Ooh. yeah, definitely uh, showing the age. Oh. There we go. We got left off. We got left off. No, I, I just. I hate that because then you try to do anything with the uh, the yoke and it doesn't matter. Try to land at uh, well, yeah, 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 you can. I wasn't sure if it was dirt on my screen or dirt on the on the window. But it's it's on the window. It's now in the mouse is in a different mode. God, he's already at the uh, same one. Uh, 
plant has gone completely bananas. No wonder they call it the Max. Why? What's going on on the plane? So now we're off to. Uh, People in the aisles yelling between cabins. You see a diversion for unruly passengers on the news. I might need some to bail me out. Really, is it that bad? Like they're yelling? Like, or are they just like talking loud? Like they're drunk or something? Like, is it actual fighting, arguing, or is it like just being loud, just for the sake of it? Nope, self. Never go to Vegas. On a commercial jet. Maybe a private jet. It sounds like you're having a blast on that plane. You're having max fun on it. Talking about Max, I hope Max uh, is doing well today. Uh, we practice. The two bachelor parties collide. Oh, it's two bachelor parties and they're colliding. Uh, so. You need like a air marshal? Uh -huh, yeah, maybe you should say, hey, I'm Marsh, I'm the air marshal. Here, hold my shot. Is this a Southwest Max flight? Someone really needs to turn off the airdrop on those Apple devices. Yeah, most of these Vegas flights are, are like this, I bet. Air trip on. We need an air marshal or an air stud. You need an air stud because probably got a lot of studs on the on that plane. They're all fighting against each other. I think you need an air marshal, uh, air marsh. Hey, what? what are you going on about? Hey, Marsh, yeah, he's on his way. Uh, 
Now this on your left is Mount Fuji. Oh wow, that's Mount Fuji? I didn't know it was that close to home. Yeah. Just like, uh, just north of your place. Canadians live in igloos. Hey, by the way, I, I gotta, I gotta go. We gotta go uh, feed my uh, my pet polar bear in the, in the backyard in the tundra. <laughs> stubborn, stubborn Kazar. to rub the eye and uh, then turn off the uh, Toby. Oh. Yeah. Should uh, drop it down like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot here. Oh yeah, shoot the runway. I can see the runway now. Today we're going to be descending at 10,000 feet per minute. Get it right. Us people in uh, northern latitudes have to fight the polar bears, say the penguins. Yeah, that's right. Maybe save Morgan Freeman too. <laughs> Wasn't he the one that did a documentary on the on penguins? I at this point it doesn't look like I'm gonna land here. Actually Is that actually the airport? Well stubborn is in a, a Honda. Oh yeah, it, it is the airport. Uh, I gotta turn around. one otter well all this turning around and we're pretty much staying at the same altitude there we go descending Actually, this is the uh, spot where I did my uh, video last night. San Juan. That's that's when I saw. It. I was like, ooh. Feel there actually feels more there than Vlad VFR. But like. At this point, I wouldn't review this because it's it's like so old, and it shows like it shows in its like texture quality, all that kind of stuff. ILS is actually from the other from the other side, but we're gonna, 
We gotta land that two six. Radar. I think they, I think that's about the uh, landing gear. Oh, th flaps thirty. Ah, whoa, like four thousand. Didn't really do much on the on the circling. All right, let's go with flaps forty five. Bottles at uh, idle. Instead, I'm, I'm just gonna do a touch and go here. I, I don't want to. I don't want to see the airport. Is a, a bang and go. <laughs> Actually, that sounds like an Australian airport I just came out from Impulse. Bang and go. I think it's. I think it's named after me. <laughs> it might might be a generous description. There you go. There's the airport. catch up pretty quickly in that thing. Oh, we got the beeping going. This is all saying landing lights. This is like taxi lights still. I think it's taxi lights. We're off to um, the main car Republic. Las Americas. Uh, double warning, caution, and warning. So we're 
we're gonna we're gonna cross right across uh, Puerto Rico and then uh, Dominican Republic. Like it's gonna be more of a go and go. Oh, that was touch and go. It wasn't that bad. I I didn't think I was gonna make it at the end to uh, take off, but uh, yeah, made it. Rocky around here. It's a mount. Some uh, gorillas. Ah, oh, the gor gorilla warfare. <laughs> That's uh, Cuba. That's in Cuba. if I can get this on autopilot for a little bit. I gotta get something to eat. So I'm like starting to like shake, shake, shake. Like a milkshake. Uh, let's see how this autopilot works. Passing right through that. That's ADF.
That's the radios. Actually, if I go nav. It's going backwards. All right. Because it's going way back to some other place. for me. Tracking his flight. Yeah, uh, Marsh, look out your, your window. In about five minutes, you're going to see uh, an F-18 there. Ready to escort the plane down. Let's, let's get it back on track. And just don't stop. Terminal 3 gate 
D52 baggage 19. FYI. <laughs> He's really tracking you down. This is a long stream. It's a far enough uh, destination. The, uh, it's not even three hours yet. Do you think this is a long stream? Well, I don't have them on the channel anymore, but 24 hours, 24 hour endurance racing. That's what you call a long stream. This is like nothing. This is normal. Like this is, yeah, for a community event, it's a little long, but for a stream, no. Take a nap, it'll feel uh, shorter, yeah. Just listen to the music in my uh, soothing voice. <laughs> yeah, that's what Benjamin does, probably. <laughs> he, w he puts the stream on and he goes for a nap. He was, he was around at the beginning of the stream. He's probably sleeping. What do you do for uh, long haul flights, Elliot? You can't say, uh, well, here's a takeoff and here's the landing. Like Marsh. Uh... <laughs> uh, right, guys, after takeoff, uh, we are then going to descend. Oh, like there is a. Apart from the. There's the whole cruise part. But in this case, we're like. It's longer between the airports now, but at the beginning it was like every 10-15 uh, minutes. But this is like the longest leg, because then after that, then it's pretty much uh, two short legs. If you think it's long, it's long for me right now because I, I'm hand flying this thing and 
starting to get hungry, but I can get through this. Oh yeah, and by the way, uh, Elliot, <laughs> stream too long. Uh, what was it? Last last year, last August, I did a 32 and a half hour stream from Halifax to San Diego in the Cessna 152. No slewing, nothing. And realistically, landed. Uh, had 10 airports to land at. So I had to refuel. And then I got to like the first airport and said it had no FBO. And I'm like, ah, oh, screw this. Like, I'm just gonna go to the menu and refuel that way. But, yeah, and that was 32 and a half hours of hand flying it. I, th I think the actual flight time was. 28, 29 hours. And then the rest of the time was like breaks or whatever, because at the airport, that's that was my time to go upstairs, get some food, and continue on. But yeah, next year, next summer, it's in Houston, so it's closer for me, but I think I'm going to make it even more challenging do it in a uh, in a glider <laughs> in a glider or maybe like an A5 A or something something that's even slower than a 52 challenge yeah but that's that's easy it only takes like two hours maybe three hours at the most depends how you go you go horizontal or vertical or diagonal please. This is tequila. Fly guy five. Huh. It's got the uh, tequila start to it. I was contemplating on going to Haiti after Puerto Plata, but then I was like, ah, no, do that in another flight.
Marsh must be going to the casino. He's got to be going to the casino. At some point. Here, a challenge for Marsh is to go uh, play blackjack at every casino on the strip. you essentially enter the casino once you're leaving the jet yeah pretty much the thing over there is like a lot of the places are interconnected so once you leave one casino it's like you're into the next one already like especially like uh bellagio bellagio to caesar's palace I still remember I was in Montreal uh, 2019. So yeah, three years ago. Three years ago in Montreal at, uh, at the Canadian Grand Prix and the uh, Montreal Casino is right there. Well, one night I was like, okay, just to kill some time because I know the Metro is going to be just jam packed. I go to casino and I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna play with like 40 bucks blackjack. And I start at like a five dollar table and or maybe even a one dollar table. And then move my way up to like I think ten dollar minimum. But then I got to I got a hand and I think it was like uh I think it was like two aces or something. And I said split. And everyone's like looking at me like, what the hell are you doing? Like, you don't split on that. Or, I don't know. They, and the, the dealer actually said, we don't recommend doing that. Ah, uh, I, I, I think that's what it was or something. And, but I went against everyone else's recommendation and even a dealer's recommendation. And then when the card came to me, boom, I, I had, I think a hundred or yeah, I think a hundred on each. So I doubled the money and then everyone there, the, the people would get pissed off. Like if you don't play the way that you're supposed to, it's like, why do I have to play my hand so that you can win? I'm going to play the hand that I want to play. If I want to be, you know, risky, hey, then go to another table. And some of them, they are like, they actually like stood out for the next hand. Like, hey, like, you can play however you want. What's this on the. Oh, it's a uh, Punta Cana. Punta Cana's on the uh, on the east side of the island. Never been. Been to uh, been to, to Santo Domingo and then somewhere's just close by the Santo Domingo. Uh, uh, Boca Chica. Yeah, which is right by the airport anyways. Because my first time just went through Santo Domingo. And we went up to uh, La Vega. Spent two weeks in La Vega. Well, uh, I think we spent like our first night in La Vega. And then the next morning was like 4 a.m. Wake up, get on the bus, 
we're, we're going to hike up a mountain. They say the hike's like a, an hour hike. It was like a three hour hike. You get up there, it's noontime, and they're like, okay. Uh, this is like a, a mission trip. I was like, I was 14, my brother was 13. Like, all right guys, we're, uh, we're now gonna go to into the valley. We're gonna go, the girls are gonna go pick up some logs. The guys, we're gonna go pick some rocks and sand uh, from the river. We're gonna bring that up because we need it for, for concrete to build this like addition to the church at the top of the mountain. Uh, and like we got there and then like, we're like 40 youth and like some chaperones and stuff. And uh, the chaperones, like the American chaperones, are like, and yeah, these kids just got off, you know, like, they're, they're having like culture shock already. And so then, like, the missionary there is like, all right, all right, let's let's give him a, you know, let's give you a meal, then we'll have siesta, then after siesta, then you can work. Well, while we're in siesta, the Dominicans were were working. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I still remember that. And then, and then the, the night, uh, the night we spent up on, on the mountain, like, we're like 40 some, 40 some odd youth and, uh, chaperones. So, the girls were staying in, like, the church. Like the like on the floor with sleeping bags, the guys we were told to go sleep in the medical center. Well, you get in a medical center and it's like everyone's like one on like not one on top of each other, but like 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 side by side. You're like sleeping bag, and it's like a body right there, right there. So we had a couple of guys. We went in, or like, yeah, there's no room for us. So, uh, you know, can we sleep in this room, like in, in the church? And the missionary is like, no, 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 no. Here in Dominican, it's uh, men and women, separate places. Can't can't sleep in the same room. It's like you're going back to the medical center, and you're just gonna make room. It's like sardines in there. And then the guy beside me would shut up and uh, he was afraid of uh, the spiders and then one of the other guys is like oh look at that tarantula uh, the guy was just like squirming in his uh, sleeping bag I was like alright calm down there bud there is no tarantula and then we saw one the next morning or there was uh, cockroaches all over the place yeah. But on that first trip, we then went up to, from La Vega up to Santiago. Did some shopping there, I guess, one day. And then another day, we went up to uh, Puerto Plata to the beach. That was like our excursion day for our 12 weeks. Our 12 weeks. For our two weeks there. Then I went back, like, years later back to La Vega but then we it was a, a smaller group but at the end of the trip we went to uh, Boca Chica to a resort to have like the resort life oh, yeah. I think it was like 1718 so I uh, every time you go to a bar ask for coke it was always a rum and coke even though you'd say coke sin alcohol they'd still give you the alcohol and we're on a mission trip here like can't give me drink alcohol so actually then uh i was eating with these like these two chaperones uh two ladies and they go to the to the buffet with one of the ladies and uh i see a rum cake i'm like oh yes rum cake sweet i'm gonna have some of this so, uh, the lady, she's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to have some too. So we get back to the table. I'm like, hey, uh, you know, Donna, uh, 
Oh, that's uh, rum cake. There's like rum in it. So like, and that, that was after she started eating some. And I literally made this like 40, 50 year old lady cry because she thought on the last day of this mission trip, she was going to be sent home because she had alcohol. Like, no, it's all right. It's all burnt off anyways in the, uh, in the cake. Uh, and I was like, oh man. Looks like it's uh, cloudy. Because uh, Santo Domingo's, yeah, under the clouds. I'm actually going to slow down. We're, we're doing about 300. Yeah, because we're at we're at fifteen thousand feet, going uh, just under three hundred knots, and we should be in Santo Domingo uh, ten ten fifteen minutes. So we're gonna start our uh, descent here. Yeah, that's why I, I I actually put La Vega on this flight plan. I, I want to see if I can get low enough to, to see the place. I don't know if A, I can remember and B, if I can actually find where I was in La Vega at least the second time around. So I went built a uh, Addition on the on a school. Actually, JetBlue goes from uh, Las Americas to. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. From Las Americas to uh, Puerto Rico. I just saw the, the flight pop up on the map. This, uh, I'll, I'll do the other. Uh, I'm not gonna open up Navigrass for the approach, but I'll, uh, I'll do a similar approach to the first time I was there. Because you're out on the water, and uh, I was like, this was my first commercial flight ever. I, I thought we were gonna hit the water, and because the runway is right there by the edge of, uh, of the ocean. So, uh, yeah, hit. And back then, the first time around, it was like concrete and it was like cracked. So it was very bumpy. Then when I went back uh, three, four years later, it was, it had been repaved.
that pocket up here might be uh, Saint El Domingo. say please it says freeze so it's been doing that for a while then not even working. Trail with a recent release of uh, Owen Roberts, which is Cayman Islands. I'm definitely going to take that for a spin and see if we get the H jet also. Because uh, there's that, and they're going to be coming out with a, uh, I think, a, a, a Chilean, Chilean uh, airport. Uh, Vuelo Simple. They have uh, Owen Roberts, Thunders, uh, Pro Provincia, Providenciales. They've also made it, but I think it's not up to par with on trail standards, so it's not in. I think there's a. Because uh, with Owen Roberts, I think they. They made some adjustments in order to get into uh, to Contrail. Which is a good thing. That's that's what I like about Contrail. Is that it's all about standards of you know what kind of airports are these developers making? Do we want to bring it into the store? So like I, I'll actually make uh, some suggestions to, to Lars. And some of the other people also. And like most of our suggestions is because it's 
stuff is a good stainer like uh, w uh, WFSS uh, which I'll be taking a look at their latest uh, Chinese airport on the uh, Yangtze uh, River that's the, they, they've done a good job and I actually was going to approach the developer but then I said hey Lars you should talk to them bring them into Contrail uh, and then there was a, a few others that I mentioned to Lars and he's like actually they, they, they just sign or they're signing it's sweet Is it, it, it's good because like I know, like I, I'm like a official streamer there, but what I've, I've always liked Orbix right from the get go. But this Montreal didn't exist at that point. Montreal came shortly after the Orbix Central kind of stuff. Oh shoot, we are low. So, uh, but Lars has done a, a great job. Like I. I started buying stuff at Con uh, the Contrail app when there was like about four developers. I got maybe like 20, oh, between like 20, 25 developers in the uh, web store now. And it's, it's quality stuff. And it's, it's because of the, the standards, like Orbix also has standards. Uh, like obviously if you go to Sim Market, Sim Market, the thing with Sim Market is there is no standard, but if you're looking for something completely obscure, you'll find it there. You'll definitely find it there. Uh, the marketplace, uh, in-game marketplace, you're not going to find everything there, especially stuff that can't go onto Xbox. You're not going to see it in the, like, uh, you're not going to see it in the, the marketplace. All right, let's, uh, well, a little bit more. We gotta go three five. Three five. Airport should be right behind this bar. it is but I really don't think it is it's over here it's 
Saved by the bell. There's like some glitching going on in the water. Ceiling's probably 2,500. some mark in the window. I thought it was one of those uh, Asobo buildings. They'll turn in on final. Get down.
actually might be flaps 45. So I'm gonna do uh, I got like a five minute break here before we five ten minute break because uh, I'm gonna get something to eat and then uh, we'll finish off going up to La Vega and then uh, Puerto Plata when I get back. Let's try to get this as smooth as possible. 45. Let's go. because I don't see the pappy. Make the pappy happy. too high. If I looked at that on Volanta, it'd be a lot better than 437. There's times where it's flip flops, and I think it's based off of where it picks up the signal, it's the measurement. the uh, Burger King here. King. Burger King here was 
23 years ago. 
Yeah, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back. Gonna go to runway one two. Uh, take off out here. This looks like a yeah, 747. Lufthansa. Probably. Probably go much shorter. Yeah, definitely having the uh, the rudder pulling issue, but it's with everything. Hey, you gotta dab on the brakes while having the rudders on. Pull back to the, to the left. I, I remember like two years ago, trying a taxi, I was actually going to yoke the taxi. <laughs> Try to taxi. As if like you were driving a car. Uh, how it's done. All right, flap set fifteen. That was like barbecue. Yeah, Airstyle, I didn't have enough time to to make myself uh, a steak and. Uh, Five, five sticks of Slovaki. But seriously, I ate that at all. What's that? Uh, yeah, this is a taxiway. Wife, uh, yeah. She had one of the uh, quesadillas. The other quesadilla, uh, my daughter had half, and then put the other half in the fridge. My son, all he had was uh, rice crackers and hummus. That kid, I like. I don't like hummus, but it, he eats hummus like it's it's crazy. Mega pack is back. Sent a link in your Discord. Really? Create your own custom mega pack. Can they create a livery for me? Or is he coming for a landing? I just killed his landing. Uh, 100, so we can gear up. Yeah, spin this around, go up north to uh, La Vega. Actually, let's go uh, right. We should be able to go right over Santo Domingo.
and why did a sabbatical? Probably because they were all arguing who owned it. I don't know. Take a look. Does that count as my video for the day? <laughs> Uh, Santo Domingo and then up to uh, La Vega. Only like a, I think it's like a three hour drive from Santo Domingo to uh, Puerto Plata. Santo Domingo. It's a surprising comeback, but a very welcome one. Project Mega Pack, a highly popular collection of deliveries for MSFS, took the community by storm in the early days of the simulator, is back with a highly customizable new version. sort of ended last year but has now been revived with a brand new vision that allows simmers to download personalized packs with just deliveries they want. The 
revised new project is now different. You can use the, the brand new project make a pack website to select a number of variables and download a delivery pack that suits your particular needs. Five hundred and thirty choices. Unfortunately, payware airplanes like the Phoenix and the PMDG are not supported. All right. BRF doesn't work for me anymore. BRF? You're, <laughs> yeah, you're downloading the whole pack. Looks like there's going to be a storm very shortly. VFR map's not working for you. Huh. I, I, I haven't had any issues with it. Beta. You can also download pre-built packs or even just individual liveries in a long list of current partners. Yeah, but it doesn't, doesn't really actually, it doesn't say why they laughed in the first place. Oh, look at that. Because now they're monetized. A premium tier is available with a few exclusive features such as Priority downloads, early access, uh, future launches, and more. The thing with that is, a lot of those paints are freeware, and now you're making it into premium. So if I if I include my livery in your mega pack, then I should be getting a cut from this premium stuff. You know what I'm saying? I think they're gonna get into some hot water or something again. I think that's what happened the first time around. Look, look how the terrain just completely changes right here. It's like mountainous and forest to like, it's like blotchiness. It's like, this is Microsoft Flight Simulator. This is X-Plane 11. Uh, 530 liveries. Here we go. Oh, yeah. It doesn't show uh, anything only gray. Have you tried uh, closing and reopening it? Is that, that is weird. Yeah, this, this place could definitely use uh, a new height map or something. Is there stuff here that's like that? It's I think it's because it's loading in. The textures aren't uh, fantastic. Well, 
that, that must be telling me uh, dinner's ready, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this can be a mod conflict. Uh, haven't tested that. Yeah. But the thing is, is like, for a, like a mod conflict, it's weird though that like you've done so many flights with it working, like just till today alone. Yeah, I see Nightbot, Nightbot just said uh, check out SLH Sim Designs uh, Bermuda and Caribbean Airports. We'll be taking a look at two of them in today's stream. So we did already. That was uh, Tango, Quebec, Papa, Oxtra, which is Anguilla. And then the other one was uh, Tango, Like losing my alphabet here. Juliet, Charlie, Papa, Benjamin, uh, Rivera, Rivera, or yeah, Rivera, which has an approach similar to uh, St. Bart. Yeah, yeah, it works. Yeah, fire map's uh, working for me. Getting a little bit of turbulence. You can see like that. Air pockets. Actually, to my left, back there, there's uh, American Airlines uh, twin jet. Uh, it's at 34,000, probably like a CRJ or something, or an Amber, but uh, from Tango, November, Charlie, Alpha to uh, Philly. Yeah, these clouds, they just linger around the mountains. And you'll normally have like a 
torrential downpour at some point in the day and then it'll be sunny the rest of the day. Oh yeah, that's the American Airlines right there. We took this uh, this highway right here into uh, La Vega because we had to drive in. It's not like we parachuted in. Imagine that. There's no way I'm gonna find what I was looking for there. I'd actually have to take a Google Maps to actually map it out. Santiago's over over there. So remember, I, uh, we all went to, the, to like the, the flea market, or I don't know what, just the market in uh, Santiago, and. Uh, I went, I went with uh, one of the girls on my team. Went shopping with her and oh man. She was like, uh, uh, quantos pesos? And you know, the guy's like, a uh, hundred pesos. She's like, uh, un peso, un peso. Like, no, no, uh, 90, 90 pesos. And he, she was like, no, no, one peso. And he's like, okay, 150 pesos. <laughs> she was trying to barter, but she was trying to go down way too low. So then the uh, vendors were just going the opposite way. Saying, no, we're going to charge more. That's the case. We're headed right for this, uh, this cloud. Actually, like this looks like a like a mountain ridge or something.
yeah, the terrain is like washed right out. I understand there's like that the clouds, but it is completely washed out. We'll go zero eight here at uh, Puerto Plata. Missed out on when I said uh, uh, I've done a 32 and a half hour stream in a Cessna 152, no autopilot whatsoever. Uh, that's a long stream. This? Nah. It's just like a little bit longer than uh, than my uh, than one of my stints in uh, in an endurance race. Well, I'll, I'll like triple or quad stint a race. Yeah, no. But, again, you see that? And then you see this. Definitely let's do a uh, world update here. Take your head <laughs> Photo, photo geometry, yeah. You're on your third at this point. Holy smokes, like. Get, are you like at 95? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's all I used. Trim, trimmed it out, got it going flat to like, you know, le leveled it off. And I had got, I had gone back in the, in the plane. I just went to the washroom. I had to go again. So I, I just leveled it off, ran to the washroom, come back and the plane was just starting to veer to one side. Yeah, yeah, good. Arambala! Come on, Sava! It's a new Slew King. <laughs> Sim with Elliot is a new Slew King, but without Slewing. <laughs> uh, yeah, but even with ele elevator trim, it was painful. Because I didn't, I didn't have this like gaming chair. I had a desk chair. It was a long time on my ass. And I think the next two, three days, it just hurt. I don't think I sat down for a while. Yeah, I ramble a lot. Uh, contrary to the mixed reviews out there, I'll make it even more mixed for you. Most mixed reviews are two letters, B and S. But like, I I really don't get what's wrong with this. Like, I really don't. Like, is it study level? No. Does it, everything work? Yes. Other than this, this was working on the first uh, leg, but right now it's not. 
but that could be a bug that gets fixed right away. People going on about the audio sounds are horrible. Like, no. Audio is fine. Like, I'm not. Like, I've never flown a PC 12. I, I can't exactly tell you, but I've seen reviews where they say the cockpit uh, noises are, are too low. Well, it's probably because you got your engine sounds down. That's, that's your problem. Because to me, this, this thing flies and the alarms and everything, all the alarms work because I've tested it on this what on this like almost four and a half hour flight lots of beeping and no I wasn't swearing the whole time either I might have been swearing inside <laughs> see look oh it's telling me my landing gear how 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 do I know that it's I've heard it heard it several times Ah bien, à toi, je suis à la job en overtime. J'aurais pu euh, voler avec toi avec le euh, les... pied. Oui, oui. C'est plus le, de, de fun d'aller euh, voler que, que d'aller euh, aller travailler. Euh, le, un, un bon vol, pas comme voler, euh, aller voler de la, de la magasin, là. Just borrow my account, yeah. No CTDs. No, no CTDs. I think the best I've had up to now in this plane is just over 350. It's like either the papulites don't work or like I'm at like 350 feet. Like I'm definitely too low. harder landing than one of those three or four hundred. Uh, this one is, uh, who's this by? Uh, it's in Contrail. Like, the, the grass doesn't look that green, like, the, the grass doesn't look the best, but that's Microsoft grass. I think they were smoking grass when, I, when they made that. take a look at the airport because I I've had it for a while but I don't think I've actually ever flown here uh, 
Oh, yeah, yeah. You see, I'll take that. You know, it gives me... Uh, yeah, Fly Alive gives me shit many times. But I'll take that one. We're gonna just park it right here. Like we own the place. Between the flaps. for a little spin around here not with the uh I feel like this has been around for a while I heard Fire department. Parking lots look nice. And you, you tell exactly where they stopped the roads. Right there. Solar, uh, solar farm. Marsh uh, wishes bingo was happening right now because I just said solar farm. That was one of his bingo squares and he never got it. There's your check-in desk. Not the best looking check-in desk. Like, for when it released, it was, there, you got an interior, oh, this is nice. Yeah, it's all, this isn't bad. And what I, what I like versus like a field there, like field there, this would all be painted. So you wouldn't even be able to see. They wouldn't even have it in, inside anyway. How, how can you not have an interior and feel there? Yeah, this is not bad for when it released. If it released today, I'd be like, out four, out five, but for when it released, that's like a six, seven. It's a decent. Because the thing is, even like Halifax, uh, F Sim Studios, they've got like very, it's not a detailed interior, but I've flown in and out of Halifax many times. And you know how many times I actually go in inside the airport? I did it once or twice. And that's like while trying to show it off. That's about it. Cause after, after that, it's like, what's the, what's the point? Let's see if I can find a beach. No, uh, it's too many beaches. Son of a beach. I guess uh, I'll have to see. I'll have to see that uh, some other time, I guess. everyone for for showing up it was a great afternoon of flying flying all over the place in that pc12 i would uh I, i'm gonna have an actual review of it 
uh, later on, but for what for what I can see it, yeah, it's in Canadian dollars. It's thirty six bucks. It's, it's really not that bad. It is on the pricier side for Coronado stuff, but it's actually it's not bad uh, aircraft at all. Uh, like I said, the sounds. You, if you watch any part of the stream, you can hear the sounds and all the alarms. So I don't know what other people are crapping about, but again, I'm not a PC-12 pilot or I've never flown one, so I can't tell you exactly. But as a flight enthusiast and uh, like flight simmer, yeah, it's, it's a nice buy. Thanks a lot, everyone. I'll see you in our next video.